A critique that sometimes gets brought up regarding utilitarianism is that according to the theory, it appears that we should calculate the expected utility for every action we take. This consists in estimating future happiness, thinking about the foreseeable outcomes, estimating their probabilistic elements, and so on and so forth. A heavy workload. And considering we make many actions a day, it seems like the utilitarian would be constantly calculating. One could jokingly imagine a utilitarian stuck in a store, adding up the costs and benefits regarding if he ought to shoplift or not. So, are utilitarians supposed to be constantly calculating and never act intuitively? No, they're not. Straightforwardly enough, if somebody is always calculating outcomes in depth for any action he takes, he will be reduced to a gridlock, able to perform only a small percentage of the actions one ordinarily takes in a day. This approach would hardly maximize utility. There is a trade-off between the amount of actions one can make and the expected positive utility per action that is increased by a rigorous calculating forethought. One ought to strive for the balance point where the most total overall utility is produced. This argument, quickly and elegantly, points out the absurdity of the question. Constantly calculating would be counterproductive to the maximization of happiness. Thus, according to the utilitarian himself, it is to be avoided. Let's go into further detail and see how our moral intuitions may be of use in dealing with some other factors concerning utilitarian computations. Firstly, the utilitarian calculus tends to fall victim to the all-too-human bias of self-interest. In many cases, this could result in us unknowingly estimating quantities in our favor, skewing the eudaimonic calculus for our personal gain. Second, unfortunately, many people in the world have to think about getting through the day and provide food for themselves and their family. For these people, essentially no time can be spent making utilitarian calculations that require a good amount of effort to even understand correctly. To remedy these two issues, society can help by assigning experts to perform the lengthy calculations in an unbiased setting for some of the most common and general cases, so that then a broad rule that covers a recurrent case can be established. In this way, if one has no time to reflect on performing an action, or if one doubts the accuracy of his moral calculations, he will have a simple guideline to follow that in a great majority of instances will give him the correct answer. Abiding by the rules is way quicker than performing calculations, and they tend to get ingrained in our moral intuitions so that they become second nature. This is due to our biological tendency to conform with the behavior of others, and the desire to not get punished. For these reasons, some utilitarians, like Professor Joshua Greeney of Harvard University, see a usefulness in our moral intuitions. Their super-efficiency is a valuable asset to reduce even further the lengthy computations. Hence, for many, and in many general cases, one can follow them, and that will usually coincide with abiding by societal norms, producing positive utility on average. The rigorous calculations can be externalized and performed fewer times by the rule makers. Of course, given their importance, a critical eye on the rule makers is welcomed. We know they are far from perfect. The norms they produce are supposed to be useful instruments, they don't represent morality itself. Indeed, if one believes a rule to not be optimal, he can reflect on it and then speak up about it. If he is correct, that is a valuable, positive utility action in itself. So there is a balance to strike, but this procedure is much more efficient than everybody calculating independently all the time. Ultimately, one could be left with a doubt. Can humans utilize their moral intuitions for most cases, and then switch to a more reasoned utilitarian approach when needed? Is this a reasonable ask? It turns out that empirical evidence points in the direction that this is already how our brain functions. A fact spelled out by dual process theory. 
According to dual process theory, thought can arise in two different ways. One consists of an implicit, automatic, unconscious process. The other, an explicit, controlled, conscious process. Greeny explicited in his research by looking at fMRI scans that this seems to be true even for moral thought. We have an unconscious process that produces our efficient moral intuitions. And at the same time, we are capable of conscious, logical, utilitarian reasoning if we so choose to. So there appears to be no problem here. The bottom line is that letting our moral intuitions naturally take the wheel when we are dealing with other issues is a perfectly utilitarian thing to do for the sake of our action efficiency. With this, we hope to have dispelled the myth that utilitarians need to be constantly calculating.